Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to talk about how to write a word problem in slope-intercept form. Now, as you know, with slope-intercept form, it's of the form y equals mx plus b. Now, a couple things to consider, of course, is that x and y are your standard x and y coordinates, your m is your slope, and your b is your y-intercept. Now, a couple things to consider when it comes to writing a word problem in slope-intercept form is you definitely want to communicate to the reader that it's going to be uh, linear or words that indicate that we're talking about either an upward line or a uh, declining line. Now, one way to help the person uh, solve the word problem that they have to use slope is talking about and using phrases that deal with rise to run ratio. So you can say the rise to run ratio, let's just say, is a four ninths, for example. That tells them right away that, okay, I have to use four ninths as part of the uh, slope. Now, y-intercept is a little bit more interesting, but what you want to consider is for y-intercept, you have to think about the y-intercept is the point for that is on the y-axis. Now, what you can kind of think about is to help the reader understand what the y-intercept is, you can use... something that can be construed as an initial point, a starting point, if you will, of a particular object. It can be a, uh, the initial uh, startup cost or the initial position of an object, but basically whatever it takes to help the student understand that they have to use the y-intercept and slope-intercept form. So the bottom line is there are some words that will help them understand slope with rise to run ratio, and there are some things that you can do to help them understand how to use the y-intercept. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and there are some tips on how to write word problems in slope-intercept form.